Hello creative designers and welcome all to this story. My name is Peter. Head on to this story. We're just going to see how we can be able to add minimum cut amount for a specific product category. We're just going to do it without installing a single plugin. This is how it's going to work. We're just going to add it using a simple uh, PHP code. And we're going to show you how you can be able to set up and how you can be able to configure it and, and make it work. And without further ado, let me just get into action and I'll show you how. On the dashboard menu, scroll now to how you have the plugin. We're just going to install a plugin. And remember, I said, I said we're not going to install a single plugin, but it's true. We're not going to install a single plugin. The plugin that we're going to add is that will facilitate for us to be able to add the PHP code without pressing our code. But if you know how to add the code using the function.php, you can proceed without installing the, uh, the single plugin. So, on this on on the hover on the plugin on the dashboard menu now here you have the uh, the button for the plugin on hover we have these three options select uh, the second one let me first of all install the C single plugin so search for it it's called called snippet yeah we have it I have already uh, installed and activated it it's called called snippet from called snippet pro six days ago it was it was when it was updated seven uh, seven hundred thousand active installation five star rating from 395 people who have used the plugin so once you have installed and activated it so now on the dashboard menu now i have this now button for the snippet uh select all snippet if you want to view all the snippet that you have but i would like to add new allow me to just copy just a small uh text here for easy uh, identification so i just copy that one and i just give it my a name it's good when you just give it a name that is uh, identifiable. Then from there, I have simplified the way you can be able to add this code. I have included the link on the link on the description. All you just need to do is click on this button. It just copy all the code here. Just come and paste it here. Now here we have it. If you have just copied the way I have on line number five, we have category eyes. We have now this one that into bracket is the one that is identifying the category. And we have the threshold here as amount. So first of all, let me save, uh, save changes. Once I've saved the changes, I need to head over here. I need to head over to shop and I need to head over to my dashboard here. So let me head over to product and select categories. If you know your categories well, you can just copy it. So I just need to copy this one here. Let me, I'm just going to limit on groceries. So let me delete this outlet here and I paste grocery. And I say the minimum amount is 30. You can set the minimum amount to the one you want. And then from there, I can also save the changes and I activate it. Now for grocery category, let me just click on this grocery here. Uh, let me head over here to home and then I need to here you have it so I just select grocery I select grocery and here I have 15 so here we have it let me just remove all this one here and also remove this one here so I now add the grocery I add this one for grocery and then I proceed to cut and I view the cut. So you see now we have this error. And once one someone try to one customer try to proceed, he uh, an error will just prompt and he will be able to he will be returned to the ad. But once the customer meet the minimum, the error has been removed, and the customer can be able to proceed to check out and uh, can, customer can proceed to check out and make the order. I hope you did learn something out of this tutorial. If you did learn something out of this tutorial, hit the thumbs up. If you're here, consider subscribing. Till next time, thank you.